Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created seven heavens and He favored the seventh one over the rest. Allah has created the stars and the planets and He favored planet Earth over the others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed over 6,000 verses and He favored Ayat al Kursi over the others. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent hundreds of messengers and prophets and He favored Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the days and out of all these days He favored the best day which is the day of Arafah. For this reason, a Jewish man went to Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him. He told him, Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, O leader of all the believers, there is a verse in your book which you recite. If this verse were to be revealed to us the Jews, we would take that day as a holiday, as a festival. Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, he realized there are over 6,000 verses in the Quran. Which one are you talking about? He told them that verse where Allah says, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا. Today I have perfected your religion, completed my favors upon you, and I have approved and I'm satisfied for Islam to be your religion. Umm Khattab told him, I know exactly when and where was this verse revealed. This verse, which completed the Sharia of Islam, was revealed on the day of Arafah on a Friday, subhanAllah. Look at the value of Arafah. In another hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah akhada al-meethaqa min dhahri Adama bin Aman. Allah took the covenant, the covenant from the back of Adam alayhi salam in Naaman. What's Naaman? In Arafah. Allah took the covenant in Arafah. And I'll explain what's the covenant in the following few words. And from his back, from his loins, L-O-I-N-S, he extracted his offsprings. So you were there amongst the ones that were extracted. I was there. The prophets were there. The musicians were there. And with all respect, all these rappers which you can think about, the non-Muslims, like Lil Wayne, people of this category, they were all there. Fir'aun was there. And Allah addressed all of us. And He said, Alastu bi Rabbikum, Am I not your Lord? And we all said, Bala, Bala, oh yes Allah, we testify that you are our Lord. Look at this covenant, which we all valued. It was done in Arafah, subhanAllah. Look at the value of Arafah. You know now why Allah values that day, day of Arafah? So if the Jewish man valued that day, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala valued that day, then how should be our reaction, our emotions during that day? So let me tell you two ahadith which mention the value and some of the virtues of the day of Arafah. Are you ready to apply what Rasulullah said? Bismillah and have the intention. Number one, Rasulullah said, Khayru du'a'i yawm Arafah. The best time you can ever make dua is on the day of Arafah. For example, I would tell you if you leave work at four o'clock, you will make it to your house without finding any rush hour. So we go right to your house. You can leave at 5, you can leave at 7, at 10, you will make it home. That will not be as fast as if you would leave at 4 o'clock. And Allah would accept your dua anytime. But on the day of Arafah, it's a special day, high speed connection. So prepare your list. Oh Allah, I want to get married. Oh Allah, I want to go to Jannah. Oh Allah, I want A+. Plus. Oh Allah, I want my last words in this dunya to be La ilaha illallah. Make dua and don't hesitate. And Allah will be very, very, very angry upon you if you decide not to ask. Ask him and Allah loves it when you do so. The second hadith, and I ask you by Allah, I ask you by Allah, I ask you by Allah to apply it. Be a believer from the heart, uh, followed by actions and follow and fulfill and apply the following hadith. A man went to Rasulullah and he asked him about fasting the day of Arafah. The Prophet told him, يُكَفِّرُ السَّنَةَ الْمَاضِيَةَ وَالسَّنَةُ الْقَابِلَةَ Fasting the day of Arafah will expiate, erase, eliminate all the sins which you have done in the previous year. Can you imagine how many sins we've done? Wallahi, thumma wallahi, if my sins would to have a smell, you would never would want to meet me for how stinky I would be if our sins would have to smell. Allah will forgive all of our sins, not only the previous year, but also the following year. 
this is an opportunity and only the wise and the smart ones and the true believers seize that moment and they fast that day. So I ask you by Allah to share this video. Let the whole world know about the beauty of this day. If not this video, put a state, Facebook status, anything which you can do. Jazakumullah khair and don't forget to press the like button. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.